Welcome to Small Practice Support Information Session number 56. In this recording, Alana Fearon talks to Justin Purcell about the new Law Directory app. We're here at Small Practice Information Session 56. I'm here with uh, Alana Fearon, Head of uh, Web and Digital. And today we're going to be discussing uh, introduction to the Law Directory app. Uh, so Alana, you're very welcome. Uh, we'll just maybe just talk through a little bit of the agenda there if you want to just talk us through that. Yes, indeed. Um, as I said, Justin, thank you very much for having me and um, affording us this opportunity to demonstrate um, the, the app. Um, so basically, I'm going to start with, um, you know, just a, a general intro. I'm going to show a very short video um, demonstrating um, how you download the app and um, the actual app from the App Store. So that's whether you're Apple or Android. And depending on what device you have, obviously, you'll have the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, we will demonstrate how you find the app, how you download it, how you open it and how you log in. Um, I'll run through key features, um, how you find certain items, how you do a search, um, and obviously, you know, the key benefits and um, what we see as, as the key features here for um, our digital app. And then, of course, we'll have some questions at the end. So delighted for everyone who has taken the time um, to join us, really hoping that you get benefits from today um, and that you, you know, enjoy the app as much as we do. Yeah. So th thanks a lot, Alana. Maybe just before we get started, do you want to just tell us a little bit about how the app has, has come about? And, and Yeah. So um, it was a vote by council. Um, so it came across that way. Um, and basically, it's also part of, um, you know, our green credentials. Um, and it's obviously a green solution. Um, we had an opt-in solution whereby, um, you know, it was heavily communicated across all our channels. Um, that anyone who wanted to um, have the hard copy, um, maybe as well as the app, but certainly who wanted a hard copy um, opted in for that. And um, so that was an option that was given and, um, you know, it was a personal choice for, for members of the profession. And the app, of course, is only available to members at this juncture, um, but there will be further updates on that down the line. Um, so the app is basically the you know the, the the hard copy that we we all know and love um, but in your pocket at the touch of a button and um, of course it's also available on your desktop i hope you don't put your desktop in your pocket depending on how big your pockets are and um, but you know i would encourage people to download the app um, because it is designed to be an app experience so you can use it on desktop and i will demonstrate that but um, you will have all the details in real time, updated throughout the year, a key difference from the hard copy um, and one of the biggest benefits of the app. Um, and really, you, you have it anywhere, anytime, at the touch of a button at your fingertips. I mean, what more could you want? Brilliant. So, Alana, I think we said at the start, we'll take the questions at the end. If anyone wants to ask us a question, we'll take them up on, on, on the chat. So just send them in. And uh, I'll pass, I'll share over the screen there to you now and you can you can share your screen, so. Thank you. So you're all very welcome today uh, to this, uh, the last of our uh, our series in the summer. So we'll be getting started again on September the 1. So that's showing there, uh, Alana. Can you see it? Yep. So um, basically everyone, this is just showing you how you would search for the, the app in the app store um, on your phone, depending on what your device is, what it will look like physically, how you open it, how you log in, seeing your solicitor number and the password you use for the website. You can of course tick remember username, reset password if needs be. It happens us all, it happens the best of us. And basically this is where you'll be taken. So this is the home page. Welcome to the digital law directory. Um, so that's a very, very, very short and sweet demo. Um, easier to do it that way for mobile than me putting a phone up to the screen as you'll all agree. So now I'm gonna show on desktop. Um, so basically, 
one of the most common questions we get, you know, how do I get to it? How do I access it? This is, of course, if you don't have the app. And as you'll see here, we have made some um, easy shortcuts from the, from the home page. Um, so we've got Law Directory Home here, and also in Four Solicitors, we've got Digital Law Directory here. So if you come onto the Solicitors landing page, which many of you will, or most of you will, you can come here and click, and it takes you to this lovely colorful screen. Um, and so you might think, okay, what do I do here? Well, ultimately that really depends on, on what you're doing. And I guess for the main, I'm gonna presume most of you are searching for a certain solicitor say. So I'm just gonna pick a name out of a hat, Gallagher. Now, the beauty of this is if that's all you know or all you could be bothered putting in, that's fine, it will search. So we've just put in Gallagher here, for example. Um, one of the best updated features um, of our revamped app is a, a quicker search time. You should be returning results in about two to three seconds. Um, as you'll see here, actually, we also have two search boxes whereby it used to be one. Having two search boxes, first name, last name, allows for um, far more precise um, search results and um, returning your search results. So that has been another key upgrade, which has paid massive dividends and will certainly improve your user experience. So we've searched for Gallagher and this will always go slower on the demo. Um, I hope you all appreciate, but if you play around with this on your own, you'll find it's, it's a lot quicker. So we have 54 results here for Gallagher. Obviously, if you had wanted to refine that um, you know, you would have put in more details like Gallagher Dublin or Donegal or, you know, law or state and um, depending on what you know. So you'll see a small coding here at the top, an asterisk beside someone's name like Alva Gallagher means member only. And um, this means locum and this means PC holders outside of the jurisdiction, obviously very important. So we can search for um, looking for solicitors in Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the rest of the world. Status search involves all solicitors, practicing locum solicitors, members, non-practicing or exempt, and service of state, so the SOS solicitors. Um, organization type then could be law, industry, or state. Certainly you have your county search, which is you know, very common in searches. So we're still on Gallagher and let's pretend your Gallagher was, yes, you've just realized it's Anna Maria in um, Evershed, Sutherland. So, I mean, I'd be interested to know what many of you actually want to get from this search, but we can view the contact details card. So that would be the address of the office, phone number and fax. Um, and you can see Anna Maria's details there. Now, which, what is very um, interesting and useful is you can also click on the actual firm. So it's hyperlinked, which you will see, and that will take us to Evershed Sutherland. Now, at the top, you will see offices. So you can click on that to see branches or principal. Here we've landed on principal, which you know makes sense. That's set as default there. We've got the address of the principal office. If we swap to branch, you'd see our spinning um, circle there and it's given us the Armagh branch, you know, just on the off chance that that's the actual office you're, you're looking for. So we've got the address, we've got the phone numbers, which um, are clickable on mobile. So that's another great thing about the app. And um, it's hyperlinked to the email and to the website, which um, is fantastic. Another key element here is that this is actually helping the SEO or search engine optimization of our firms because we have huge domain authority as lawsociety.ie and these are basically outlinks. So um, we're, we're bringing traffic. Google crawling will find that as, a, as an authoritative link um, and that, that's you know good, good brownie points for, for you guys. Um, for those of you who have websites, of course, and um, now another feature which um, is fantastic here on the firm search results is staff. So you can find partners, solicitors, or consultants in the firm you've searched. 
these are all listed by letter and you can filter by letter as well. So if you know someone, P, Patrick said, but obviously here you can see a list of the partners. Um, and I'm just scrolling down to give you, you know, a sense of that, you know, it's nice, clean, clear um, results and they're all there. So um, that's, you know, one example from your search a solicitor, always easily navigate back to home if you're, you're feeling overwhelmed or you want to, you know, go back. Um, if you had started in find a firm rather than a solicitor and you were searching for, let's say, Murphy, again, these are all randomly being pulled out of a hat. That's all you need to put in if you wish. But again, to filter your results, you can put in Republic of Ireland or rest of the world. You've got your counties. Organization type, again, is law, industry or state. And then you've got your firms with offices abroad. You could tick that um, and that would obviously filter results for Murphy's that have um, offices abroad. So we'll just search here and let's see what Murphy's coming up. So 54 results in Murphy. Um, obviously, you can sort by name or location. Um, and obviously, you know, if I had wanted to filter those from the beginning, I might know that I only want Murphy in Cork. So that would obviously reduce what I'm seeing. Very clear again, you will see displayed here, Callanan Murphy, Kerry Murphy, um, the address, and then you can go to firm page, which you'll see clearly hyperlinked, and we're back to where we were a few minutes ago. So you've got your offices. They only have the principal here, unlike Eversheds, who also had the branch in our map. And we've got the address. Again, phone numbers, fax, email, and there isn't a, website for this one. So that's a key example there and town agent. And then again, you can see partners, solicitors, if um, if you had a solicitor in mind, I mean, that would come up. Um, I'm just picking random letters, but the solicitor would display just like the partners, like Murphy, Catherine Murphy, and you can also search consultants. Another key um, feature, which you will um, know from the hard copy is our additional resources and this again is an extremely um, you know colorful section great UI great UX very clear clickable um, and our additional resources basically translate to the law society itself so you might want to look up council and you might want to look up council meetings for example you know you want to know when they're going on nominees of the society and um, law society personnel you might want to look any key member of staff um, and email and um, you've got member services and um, that's an outlink to the member services directory bar associations would be key as well and um, broken down by county Obviously, as I said already, and I will keep reiterating this, you know, a key feature of the digital directory is that it's updated in real time um, or as soon as a change comes and we've approved it, which is pretty much immediate. Um, with the hard copy, you know, you can't, we can't magically change words on a page until the new copy comes the following year. But the beauty of this is we can change it in real time throughout the year. You know, if Sinead Glynn is no longer the secretary here, it's now Peter Piper, we can do that. Um, or if Sinead Glynn changes her phone number and email, we can do that. Um, so that's a fantastic feature and I would strongly promote that as, as, as one of the most important features. The Law Society School then, um, you might want to look up that. We've got your links to, to the North um, firms notaries public and then the land and property services, the Bar of Ireland, key links here, all very well laid out and, and all obviously um, up to date. And then the courts, key area um, and definitely um, one that members have fed back to me, they would consult quite often. So you've got all your courts, your terms, judges, um, all laid out there very succinctly. And then we've got our notaries public 
coroners and panel to assist solicitors. Again, depending on what you're looking for, maybe it's coroners by county, maybe it's um, panel to assist solicitors in difficulty with the law society. They're all there. You've got your services and expert witnesses. Again, this is a key, um, a key feature uh, and something that's very important for our members. And again, no more flicking through the huge hard copy book, you know, all here literally at the click of a button. And then at the end, statutory and reference material. And this is a huge section again, court fees, land registry fees, capital gains tax, Freedom of Information Act, um, conversion tables, state sponsored bodies, solicitor trademark agents, all here, names, phone numbers, emails, all at the click of a button for your convenience. It's fast, it's up to date, it's accurate, it's well laid out um, and it's all there literally at your fingertips. So just at the bottom then in the footer of the law directory, um, you'll be able to see, you know, the normal contact us, search tips, terms of use, um, and clicking on, you know, your logo as in best practice anywhere on the web will always bring you back to the homepage. And look, if you're here and you want to then get back to the mainlawsociety.ie, just remove law directory from your URL and you're back. But as I said, again, um, very important to remember, we have made these easily findable links straight to the desktop version from your home page. So from your landing page, um, Law Directory Home is here um, in, the, in the secondary navigation. So that's really important that it's easy for you to get there. That's key for us um, to make sure you know where to go. Um, and of course, don't forget this really handy carousel. Um, we've got a nice explainer here, what's new, and a, and, a, and a really nice video. I won't play it now. Hopefully many of you have already seen that in the news section, perhaps stumbled across the carousel or picked it up in the easing, our weekly easing. So um, I encourage you all to have a look, to play the video. It's, it's a great demo of what's, um, what's there and how to use it. And I, of course, encourage you all to make sure you're signed up for our easings, you're giving them a read each week, um, and you're following us across social for all our updates, top tips and news. Um, thank you very, very much. All right, thank, thanks a million, Alana. If, if anyone would like to ask us a question, we'll, we'll, we'll take it on chat. That's a very comprehensive uh, sort of over a quick overview of, of, of what's happening with the law directory. You know, just a quick question off the top of my head. Is, is there any difference between the desktop version and the app version on my phone? Um, I mean, essentially, Justin, and, and great question. No, um, but as I said, the, the directory is, the digital directory is designed to be an app. Um, so I would thoroughly encourage everyone to download it and, you know, don't be intimidated um, by that. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously we're going to have a myriad um, of, you know, experience and um, I suppose confidence as well using digital applications. It is very simple and we at Webmaster are more than happy to get on a Zoom, get on a call, send a carrier pigeon if that's what means be to help you download access and get used to the app and um, if when you log into the app and i hope anyone who's on the call and hasn't downloaded it yet and um, will come off and, and do so um, and you will see it's it's really easy to navigate and um, mostly it, it mirrors this except it's optimized for mobile so it will fit your screen you know um, and you will find it's a really really nice user experience and when, when, when I go to when I download the app off the App Store or so that's either the um, the Apple Store or the Android Store or the Google Play, I'll be asked for some login information or member information. So what, what will I need? Indeed, Justin. So just as we showed at the start of the little demonstration there, and um, when you download it from the App Store, it will say open in the top right and you will click open and you will be brought to a login screen, which is your your login, your solicitor number and the password you use to access the website. Look, if you're like me and you've forgotten it, get on, you know, you, there's a link straight away to reset password, and um, which you can do to something that you, you can remember. Indeed, if you're struggling there, please, please um, reach out to Webmaster and um, you can get us on chat 
and you can get us an email or you can give us a call um, and we will help you um, get back in there and, and get on the go. And how much space does the, will this uh, app take on my phone, do you think? T tiny, it's it's minimal. And, and look, that is, um, that's a consideration for some. You know, we, we don't all have the highest spec phones. Maybe memory is a problem or maybe, maybe you've just got loads and loads of apps <laughs> that aren't this one. But um, certainly, no, there's there's minimal space for this. Um, and it will be something that I guarantee will become your, your daily go-to, really. And the more you play with it, the more you get used to it. It'll just become second nature. And just a, another question. If I see something on, on the directory that is not accurate, maybe to my own uh, contact details, or I want to, up to update an email, or what, what should I do? Fantastic Can I do it question. myself? Or? Yeah, thanks, Justin. Um, you can email law directory at lawsociety.ie. So, so nice and simple, law directory at lawsociety.ie. And indeed the contact detail, if you, if you forget, let's face it, we've got a lot going on in our lives. The contact email is here um, in the footer or indeed um, if it's technical issues, you know, you, you, you can't download it, it won't open. Um, something is glitching, like you can't search the name don't hesitate to get up to uh, reach out to Webmaster um, and we will indeed help. Um, many of you have probably been dealing with us lots of times in the past and we're happy to help. Right. And so uh, we were discussing earlier that some of the search function has changed since since 2020. And maybe this adds to the second part of my question is, is there bits of information on this law directory that's not on the website? Yeah, so basically um, the website well, I'll take the first part of your question first, actually, chronologically. So we have, um, as I'm, I think, I hope we've made this clear to our members, but we love and appreciate feedback on your user experience. Um, and indeed, we've had some great feedback um, since 2020, since the initial launch. And, you know, we will always be iterating. So we have made some significant upgrades. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning, um, it's certainly our search speed has massively increased to two to three seconds average. Um, and also with the double search bar, so name and surname separate, that means that the results we're returning are way more precise and accurate um, than would have been the case originally. And that's all to help our members to improve the experience. So they are some of the key um, updates. There are other ones in the pipeline, which we will communicate um, as the time goes on. In terms of what we have, um, Basically, yeah, look, most people would come just in for the, the information here that we're, we're discussing. Um, so whether it's, for, you know, different consultants, partners, um, solicitors in certain firms, it's all here, statutory references, the services and export, expert witnesses, all there, very, very clearly laid out um, and literally at the touch of a button. A quick question there from somebody is around the, the how do I find out uh, latest contact details for the court offices? Is that so under? Yep. Yeah, so into the courts, and then you pick what you're looking for. So which courts it is, and um, you can see it all very clearly laid out here. And um, court sittings, that's the circuit court. So all broken down by court judges, um, court service, superior courts, and um, terms very 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 good function here um, and i know something that actually is utilized a lot from initial feedback so that's that's great uh if there's any other questions we'll, we'll take them on the chat uh salma thanks very much for your thank you excellent app and very easy to find presentation very good and help to help to search at our fingertips i think that this really is a gold mine of really up-to-date current information so so yeah. thanks very much, Alana, for, for taking the time. To, no problem, to Justin. Talk with thank us today. you very much for having me. To everyone who joined, I really appreciate it. Please follow up um, with any questions or anything that's unrelated to this. Indeed, um, please, we welcome um, all your feedback and um, we're happy to help. Yeah, one, one last question there. If I wanted to update my e-zine sign-up details, just to make sure I was getting all the current information, it's not related to the Law Society directory, but maybe you could just show people there quickly. Of course, indeed. So again, um, you can contact us at Webmaster or you can go into, um, so when you're logged in properly to the website, you'll see your name up here and view my dashboard. And hopefully you're all familiar. Some might not be, and that is okay. 
And um, so you've come into your dashboard again, lovely colorful layout, and you can see here email preferences. And then you can work it out here. So um, your email address, primary email, you know, you might want it to be your work email address, you may not. You can save it here. You might have a different work email address and then your subscriptions. So easy and bulletin, law watch, legal vacancies, gazette. And um, you might say, for example, you might have a primary email as your work address, but you might like to receive your easy in your hotmail or your Gmail or your Yahoo. That's all easily done here. Press update preferences and hey presto. Um, and again, Webmaster at lawsociety.ie were there to help if you're having any issues at all. You can also unsubscribe from the easings um, from the links in the easings itself. Or again, you can email us and we can assist you in doing that. Listen, that's 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 brilliant, Alana. We're coming, we're coming up to the end now. So, so I'll just share my screen just to show our um coming uh, uh, information series in September. We're going to take a little bit of a break. For August, I'm going fishing. Um, hopefully, <laughs> it won't rain too hard. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just go down. So there are up, up and coming uh, information sessions in September. Um, I'll be sending out a recording of this session today. I think it's an invaluable session. Thank you very much, Alan. I think it's given us a real good insight into what's available on, on that Law Directory app. And if you want to register uh, uh, for any of these sessions, they'll also be included in the email. So in the absence of any other questions, listen, thanks very much for everyone for listening to us over the last number of months. Alana, thanks very much for taking the time to join us late uh, today. Uh, it's, it's been great. Thank you very no much. Problem. Everyone, enjoy your uh, summer holidays. Hopefully you'll get away for a bit of a break. Yeah, Sloan. thanks everyone for attending. Speak yeah. soon. Sloan thanks, Justin.